Hi, my name is Allison O'Brien, and I'm the director of the Respect Life Office here in the Diocese of Rockville Center. In collaboration with the Office of Faith Formation and Catholic Health Services of Long Island, we are very happy to present you with this video production of the Gianna Center of Long Island. The Gianna Center is dedicated to the education and care of women's fertility health. The Gianna Center is named after St. Gianna Beretta Molia, wife, mother, and pediatrician, canonized by St. John Paul II in May 2004, and patroness of the World Meeting of Families in Philadelphia 2015. This wonderful resource is available for you and your family as you journey through life. Now let's meet the dedicated healthcare professionals who are available for you at the Gianna Center of Long Island. I'm Dr. Paul Carpentier. I'm a family physician, now specialized in women's health care. My name is Jamie Hutchinson, and I am the NAPRO Technology Nurse at the Gianna Center, as well as the Fertility Care Educator. What that means is we serve women from the ages of pre-puberty all the way through pre-menopause and menopause for all a variety of women's health issues. I'd like to bring up the concept of chastity. Chastity is not something just for teenagers. It's, we're all called to chastity. Our bishops are called to chastity. I'm called to chastity. Parents, teachers, we're all called to chastity. It means respect for the design that God put in place for bringing new persons into the world. It's really an invitation to, to experience true love and God's will in our life. God set in motion within our bodies the ability to bring a new person into this world. A person, yes, conceived by the husband and the wife, but also the soul from God. The best place for that person to come into existence is in a committed relationship of a man and a woman. And the idea of relishing that and appreciating that is, is what chastity is all about. It's a privilege to talk to, to parents today, especially parents of young children, because it is, it is the greatest sacrifice, the, um, one of the hardest jobs to, to be a parent today. Our young daughters are faced with um, so many things in the media, at school, um, with different friends, and they get a lot of different mixed messages. But it's important as parents that we recognize that we are the primary educators of our, of our young girls. And also that it's never too late to begin talking to our daughters, whether um, they're teenagers or whether they're in their 20s or, or young adults and so on. And the more the child is involved in their church, then the studies show the child is less likely to embark on sexual activity prior to that beautiful commitment of marriage. That beautiful commitment is when the man stands up in front of all of his friends and his family and her friends and her family and God and says, I'm going to take care of this person no matter what. In that environment, that is the best and strongest out of respect for that future child. At the Gianna Center, we want you to know that we will support you as the primary educator of your um, child. And we invite parents to, to stay with their child through their visits. We, we invite them to share their own experiences um, as they're going through the doctor's visits. And uh, we also want you to know that we, we support and encourage your daughters um, in, in their chastity and making right decisions for healthy relationships as they grow up. We have fertility care practitioners, and Jamie is one of them. And she is here to help the people on Long Island understand their fertility. We know that the artificial hormones that women are taking are 50 to 500 times more potent than the natural hormones that already exist in her body. And so at the Gianna Center, the treatment that we offer is based on bioidentical hormones, hormones that would be naturally occurring in the woman's body. I need to let you know about a special term called NAPRO technology. NAPRO technology is a new medical science that is, uh, stands for natural procreative technologies. NAPRO technology is a very specialized science that focuses on ways to restore health to that woman's body. Our fertility is not necessarily a given. 
Um, unfortunately, many disorders can enter into a woman's body or a man's body that makes it so that the couple cannot achieve a pregnancy. There are many disorders that you need to be aware of and know that the Gianna Center is here to help you with those. We at the Gianna Center are trained specifically to get into those issues. And if we understand those issues, then we can understand what leads to those issues, potentially during the teenage years or even before. Furthermore, paying attention to these disorders prior to pregnancy is very valuable for the woman's future and the baby's future. One of the education classes that we offer at the Gianna Center is for what's called fertility care charting. A young girl or a woman um, who is having um, cycles can um, come and learn how to document their, their science of fertility and infertility so that they can see what's going on um, in their cycle. And for a young girl, um, that can be very empowering. The fertility care system is a modern way for women and couples to be able to plan their families. Whether a couple is trying to avoid pregnancy or achieve pregnancy or um, for the time being space their children, um, it's, it's a way that couples can do that with confidence and within um, God's design. So in summary, NAPRO technology which stands for Natural Procreative Technologies, available at the Gianna Center, has many advantages. Number one, it's respectful of the dignity of all persons, not just the marriage, not just the wife or the husband, but also the child. Respectful of the dignity of all three of those persons. It's respectful of marriage and religious teachings and religious faith and persons' values that they have. It's minimally expensive and it's covered by all insurances. Finally, last two points is that it fosters respect for our fertility and an understanding and an appreciation of our fertility. And in my mind, most importantly, it fosters the long-term health and well-being of the mother, her future uh, fertility and woman's health, and the baby uh, less likely to be born prematurely and things like this. So thanks for listening to those points.